Well, I've uh, hung the light in my hall and I've had it on for several hours now and it's mildly warm to the touch. Nothing really major. The top of it is stone cold. The reflector is stone cold. And interestingly about the reflector, when you look inside, there's the light source. It's got the lens in it. None of the light actually... The light actually completely misses the reflector. So if the reflector wasn't here, it would be putting out exactly the same sort of pool of light onto the ground. And it's pretty good illumination it puts down onto the ground. So um, I put two thermocouples in. This one is going into the actual lamp housing itself. And the other one uh, is going up and it's taped onto the bottom of the ballast. And I've measured the temperatures. And the ballast is, of course, just sitting on the top of the heatsink. The... Ballast, underside the ballast, is at 34 degrees centigrade. And uh, keeping in mind that the temperature in this house is quite low, it's about 10 degrees. So that's 24 degrees above ambient, which is very good. Um, and the other one the, on the, in the lamp is even better. It's uh, measuring just 30 degrees centigrade. Just, I don't know if the, the thermocouple is 100% physically in contact with the LED, but it's just it's actually in the LED module area itself. But I don't doubt the temperature in there is low because certainly feeling this heat sink and it is, you know, it's just not hot at all. I, I will say that is a 25, that's a 30 watt LED running at 25 watts, so it's not overly dramatic, but um, it shows that the, the heat sink is doing a pretty good job of dissipating the heat. And the light output is quite useful, although it does sort of, at the edges, you do get that sort of, um, the slight uh, rainbow fringe that you get from the lensing. But all in all, it's actually quite a smart little light.